Hey there, young professional. Come on into the room. Let's take a seat. Make yourself comfortable as I take a seat. Because I'm about to spill the tea about law, financial literacy, estate planning, and a little tax savings and strategies. Here's a quote from Dr. Lynn Richardson. You can't build true wealth without making your money grow. Well, you know what? I'm so proud of you. Why? Because you are thinking about your future self. Hi, you know me. But just in case you don't, I'm Takeda Hogan Claiborne. I'm an attorney, a legal instructor, an advocate, an entrepreneur, a licensed IRS tax agent, and your Texas law dealer. And you know I practice what I teach. So let's talk about it. My process helps young professionals seize, manage, grow, and protect their money mm -hmm. while stacking it high and still staying flat then choosing to give it gracefully. You know, the older I get, plus these 20 plus years I've had as an estate planning probate attorney, stresses this realization about life. We only have two possibilities. We're gonna either die young or live longer. So since I'm not sure which one should be my final outcome, I choose to be proactive and decide to take care of my future self right now. And I'm so glad you've decided to do the same. Why? Because you are your greatest asset. Really, you are. Stand in front of a mirror and take a look at yourself. You are a commodity. So be okay with investing into you. Accomplish this by establishing a system to grow your money and have an investment account that cover both any of your short-term savings and long-term investing. Take a minute. Go ahead. Take a minute and think about your why. Why would you even want to invest? What would you be investing for? What are your goals? Would it be for retirement or for wealth? or both. You see my GWBs? By using a money allocation plan, if you haven't already, you should soon see how your money plan helps you save your money. And once your money is in savings and it finally exceeds your emergency fund, what are you going to do? Once you get past that hurdle, now would be the best time than any time to figure out how you want to invest in yourself. You have so many options. In my course, my students and I, we're gonna scavenge through all of the investment options. We look at stocks, we look at bonds, investment funds, target date funds, mutual funds, and even ETFs. But you can also do things like invest in real estate. You can invest in a business, cryptocurrency, a franchise, maybe even art. There's so, so, so many options, but again, in order to grow, you got to invest. The first choice is making the choice to invest in you. This could even include education like my course or even a degree or certification. Maybe even starting a home-based business. Because at the end of the day, please understand, the main goal here is to multiply and diversify your money and your assets. How much you may ask, how much should you invest? The aim is to reach to investing at least 12 to 15% of your gross income. Now don't fret, if you can't start there, again, remember, it's a goal. So start where you are comfortable in your own money plan. Hey, my GWBs, in my next section, in, in the class, I'm going to walk you through a simple investment plan, providing you a step-by-step -step guide to get you started with your investments through automation. Y'all know what? That's all the tea I'm sharing today. Hey, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Till next time. I'm going to see you in the next video.